Good evening. The head of a hospital which is home to one of London's largest trauma centres has declared a critical incident and asked doctors to start discharging some patients. The Hospital Trust for St George's in Tooting says its emergency departments and hospitals are under extreme pressure and it apologised for not always being able to, in their words, provide the level of care they'd like. Let's get more now from our health correspondent, Carl Mercer. This was the emergency department at St George's Hospital when we filmed there a couple of weeks before Christmas, preparing for a cold snap and preparing for what they knew would be a busy winter. I think it's a really bleak picture. I think, you know, it's just dropping cold, really properly cold today, and we know that always will bring in the next couple of weeks increased attendances. And then we're also facing all the challenges around viral infections this winter, around flu and ongoing COVID infection. Today, St George's became the first London hospital to declare a critical incident over winter pressures. All routine meetings will be cancelled, all the focus put on how to move patients out of hospital. This was the message on their website today. Our emergency departments and hospitals are under extreme pressure right now and we expect them to continue to be very busy over the coming months. Right now, like all parts of the NHS, we're not always able to provide the level of care we would like and we are very sorry this is the case. Emergency ambulance, the patient breathe in. London's ambulance service is also under pressure. On Monday, paramedics were told to not wait more than 45 minutes outside hospitals waiting to unload patients. The whole system is stretched. It's challenging, I'm not going to pretend it's not. It's really difficult and, you know, I think at the moment for, for NHS staff, they've just come out of what has been the biggest challenge of dealing with COVID that I think most of us thought would be the biggest challenge in our career. And actually, this is probably harder than COVID because we're having to do the elective work, the emergency work, and if we're honest, we've got a really tired uh, workforce. But, you know, in true nature of the NHS, the staff are, I'd say, standing strong. And they may have to for many weeks to come. This will be the case for another three months, which is why we've had to put plans in place, different to what we would do most winters, you know, above and beyond to try and keep our hospitals, our patients and actually our staff safe during the next three months. Which means St George's may not be alone in having to declare a critical incident. Commerce of BBC London.